Yo, 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 what's up, guys? How you doing? Brandon here with Nine Zone 2020 with another episode. I hope everyone had a great month of January. We are in the month of February of 2020. Today I came with to you with a, I'm coming to you rather, with a new gun review. This gun has been reviewed by several people on uh, YouTube, and I think it deserves that. Um, this, uh, this is a Smith & Wesson. Smith & Wesson, to me, they make very good products. They're American-made guns and pistols. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 Compact. This is a very good pistol. Let me show it to you in the box. I bought this pistol used, pre-owned. Okay, so this is how it comes. You got the pistol. You got the three palm swell, small, medium, large. And I, I don't know what size that is on there. Two uh, 15 round magazine, one over here, one inserted. You have the, uh, the mag plate extensions, the uh, Smith & Wesson M&P full size, those 17 round mags, they will, um, they are usable in this gun. You can put these um, mag plate extensions on there and use that 17 round mag for the M&P full size. So you see this here, this is how it comes. I went to the range today. You're gonna to see that video in a second. I went to the range and I put about 100, 100 rounds through this. No misfeeds, no failure to feeds, nothing. Uh, Smith & Wesson, I like them. I like them, this is my first Smith & Wesson. Uh, let me safety check this pistol. Magazine, chamber clear. Well clear. Done the safety check. Oh, when I bought this pistol, look at the sights that came with it. Ladies and gentlemen, these are true glow sights. The rear sight. Um, let me put this sight on there. We're gonna want to put it on that box. Look at that sight picture. Very good sight picture on this gun. The recoil is very manageable. Let me uh, field strip it for you. I'm gonna show you. This gun came with stainless steel guide rod. I was very happy to see that when I saw the internals of this gun. This is the barrel here. Smith & Wesson barrel. This gun might replace my P07. I'm not sure, but it might replace my PO7. So let's go to the video and take a look. Put this gun back together. Go to the video, take a look at the range review. The Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0. Very good, very good uh, gun. Um, the trigger is about a five pound, four and a half, five pound trigger pull. Let me point it in a safe direction. I'll point it out. That reset. Pretty good reset. So let's go to the range and take a look at the um, range review for this pistol. See how it shoots. I'll be back, guys.
Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back from the range review. As you can see, um, I ran about, uh, from the video, I think I ran about 30 rounds in that video through the M&P 2.0 compact. I didn't have any failure to feeds, no misfires, uh, nothing of the sort. I had zero malfunctions with this weapon. Um, this might replace my P07 eventually. I'm, I'm not ready to let go of the P07 yet, but this is definitely a, this uh, 2.0 is definitely a contender, very good weapon. Another thing I wanted to show you, I just looked at my holster and it reminded me. Now, if you saw my video um, for the cross, the Glock 19 crossbreed holster, um, that holster fits, of course, the Glock 19, Glock 26, Glock 23, Glock 17, Glock 27. It also fits um, the Taurus G3, and it fits my CZ P07. Now, I don't know if this is just a lucky holster, but I, I just knew that I was going to have to get a new holster for this M&P. Let me show you guys something. M&P 2.0 fits this crossbreed Glock 19 holster. Look at that. It's a little retention, but it's not much. It gets in there. I don't have to buy a holster, y'all. I do not have to buy another holster for this M&P. So the uh, crossbreed Glock 19 holster fits the M&P 2.0 compact. Taurus G3, Glock 19. It also fits, this is my PO7, chamber clear, magwell clear. It also fits my PO7. This is my everyday carry, this is my PO7. But this video is about the MP 2.0. This holster fits my MP. It's a little retention, but it's not much. And uh, if you guys uh, follow my page and watch, and you saw my video on the Core Essentials gun belt, I use a Core Essentials gun belt with this holster. I just purchased a second Core Essentials gun belt. Uh, very good gun belt. Crossbreed holster, very good holster. Okay, so if you're looking for every, um, concealed everyday carry, Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 very, has very good ergonomics. These uh, have, as I showed you earlier, the True Glow sights. Look at that sight picture. There we go. It has that front tritium sight. I line it up on that box, right, that fuse box right there we go. It has the front tritium sight, the True Glow rear sights. I typically, I typically like blacked out rear sights but I'll take the True Glows. It's my first pair of True Glows. This gun shoots very well. The recoil is almost non-existent. I don't want to say non-existent, but it's, it's below manageable. It has the stainless steel guide rod, as I showed earlier. So it gives a little weight on the front end and it shoots very well. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, Smith & Wesson, MP 2.0 contact. Contact, compact. <laughs> It'll make contact with someone if you shoot them, but this is the MP Smith & Wesson MP 2.0 compact. Very good weapon. You guys have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will be back with more videos. You guys be blessed, okay?